Hey everybody, Dan with Carly here. I was on my way out the door. I remember this is the last day that this truck is gonna wear this two and a half inch leveling pin top system. So I thought I'd do a quick wrap up video just to bring everything together for you. It's after hours in the shop. It's finally quiet in here. It's hotter than hell, so I'm probably gonna start sweating. Forgive me. Um, the big thing with this kit, you've got our coil springs in the front. You've got our adjustable track bar in the front. You've got custom tuned king shocks front and rear. The big difference between this kit and any other platform, any other kit that we've ever done with King 2.5 inch shocks, this one is tuned around those factory coil springs. Why that's a big deal? Well, on this platform, they didn't really give you any room for a supplemental payload option. So you've got your coil springs, that's where we normally put our long travel airbag systems, like the ones we just released for the 2013 plus 3500 trucks. Underneath the frame, you've got the bump stop. On the outside of the frame, you don't have enough room between the frame and the tire to mount anything. So the problem is, there's really no auxiliary load leveling solution when you start looking into airbags. Most companies put them underneath the frame and above the axle. The problem is the factory bump stop, this big. Any other airbag kit's gonna be at least six inches compressed, so you're giving up about four inches, give or take, of up travel. That's a big problem when you're not working with a lot of up travel to begin with. So we designed this kit to work with the factory coil spring to make sure that we weren't messing with the factory payload capacity. Conversely, we're throwing a huge shock at it that's custom tuned to those springs. So it's actually gonna haul a lot better than the factory uh, truck did. So again, that's the big difference is that we've got the big boy shocks tuned to a factory coil spring. We've never done that in any other platform. And this truck works fantastic. So today, um, I brought the camera along while we finished up what we normally do, and that is we hooked up to the owner's giant trailer. He's got a 27-foot um, bumper pole that's got about a thousand pounds of tongue weight with a low distribution hitch. No, nothing in the back. We didn't do timbrins, we didn't do airbags, we didn't do anything, and it sags. You brought the truck up two and a half inches in the front, so you've leveled this platform. Uh, when you level the platform, now the truck, when it sags down into that secondary rate of the factory spring, it sags to a deficit rather than sagging to level. So the sag appears a bit exaggerated. We still had about two and a half inches before we touched the bump stop, even with a thousand pounds of tongue weight on that trailer with that low distribution hitch. So we were happy with the stance. You can bring it up with some sort of auxiliary load leveling system. A lot of guys will bolt in timberins. It really depends on the frequency with which you're towing um, with this rig. But the point is, if you're comfortable with a little bit of drop in the rear compared to the front uh, when you're under load, this thing tows phenomenal. Uh, again, these large diameter shocks handle the trailer weight better. They make sure that when you load that spring, it reacts a lot better, keeps everything planted, while really opening up the capability of this truck. So today was our last day again with this system on it. It's got the two and a half all the way around, factory springs in the back, our springs up front. So we took it in the dirt for a few hot laps and this isn't your normal Carly video in that we take a long arm system with three and a half kings, 3.0 bypass rears, and we go show you how close to destruction we can take this truck now with this newfound capability. Again, factory coils out back, our coil springs up front, more of a limited travel type leveling suspension, uh, but you know, a heck of a lot of shock for what you're doing. It comes as no surprise that this thing tows amazing now. I mean, you're taking the factory suspension and you're putting big shocks on it, custom tuning them to the rear springs. Well, we took it out in the dirt, we custom tuned it there. Today, we did a few hot laps to show you on camera what this thing's capable of in the dirt. And it's not the kind of truck that we're gonna take out and go pound whoops and charge them. It's not designed to do that. This is a utilitarian setup. This is for those that use their truck as a tool more than the weekend warrior that wants to take it out and jump it, drift it, do that kind of thing. So it'll handle any dirt road that you throw at it. Big bumps are no problem. Um, if you're looking for the limits of this suspension, you're gonna find it out in the dirt, but nothing is gonna tow this well while doing as well in the dirt as this truck does with no auxiliary load leveling or supplement to the factory payload capacity. So we were super happy. This thing drove everywhere with the trailer. Um, very, very controlled. Again, it was uh, a bit nose high, a bit ass low, but that's what you're gonna get when you level a truck uh, and you have no supplemental payload in the back. So we're really, really happy with how this truck turned out. Uh, as you can see now, wheels are off. The front, you can't see it, but it's already disassembled. We're moving it up to the three and a quarter inch lift. But the wrap up video for this truck, I wanted to show you that we took it out in the dirt, we hooked it up to a trailer. You guys already saw the install video. I ran over each component in depth. 
Um, this is a proof of concept video more than anything. I wanted to show you the result of what we've been doing before we move on to the next step. So I hope this answered some more questions on the kit. Again, anything else, hit the comment section. I'll get right back to you, but we'll look forward to seeing you next video. Thanks for tuning in.